Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. He had to go and do that dark hose right as I was hitting that live button. That stinker. He is a stinker. Going down. Hey, 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 if you're getting here, say hi. It's me, Jimmy Lou. I'm from the Messy Craft Corner. If you're new here, please tell me in the comments that you're new. I'm so excited to be crafting in this event. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Christine. Hey, Trisha. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Shauna. We're going to, I'm, I was asked to come on a minute early. It says 629 on my phone. It says 628 on the clock in the living room. And it says 631 on the clock in here. So I have no idea what time it really is. I'm just saying, hey, Miss Lisa from Brown Eye Girls Crafting. Thanks so much to you and to Char over at Char's Art from the Heart. From the Heart. <laughs> my tongue got in front of my teeth and I mixed that up. Char over at Char's Art from the Heart for putting on this amazing three-day event. 33 amazing crafters. No two projects have been the same. I am, like, so impressed with how, like, we all are just like, ah. Oh. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, it does, right? You said about go a little early. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little late, though. <laughs> Clock over here is way off. So, hey, hey, hey. I see some new names there saying hi to me. So, come on in. Say hello. And we're going to talk about the newest thing that's hitting the crafting circuit. The newest thing. And it's something so easy. My mom has had these things for years. And as soon as I started pulling mine apart yesterday, I knew my mom would have wanted me to do this project. So um, let's see. Hey, Emma and Ramona. Welcome. Hi, Cheryl Miller from Pennsylvania. We have Cheryl from Pennsylvania and we have Cheryl from New York. And there's Sheila from the D Desert Divas Crafting. Guys, she's next after me, but you can join the group that's in my link here let me also do this here is the group there you can go and oh i was just about to tell you miss michelle pin the comment so in the pinned comment is the group where you can go you can watch all the replays you can catch all the rest of the crafters today you can get the crafters tomorrow you can see the ones from yesterday oh my gosh but don't be forgetting to hit that follow button and make me one of your favorite crafters so that you get all of the um the doodads and stuff hey miss donna welcome welcome okay so i i first heard about this in junk journaling group and the ladies were like oh we're pulling these rugs apart and hey norma rodriguez from lancaster we're gonna be having a meet and greet in Lidditz in just about what, two weeks Two weeks, two weeks. Okay, um, so anyways, in the junk journaling group, they were talking about these rugs and they're pulling them apart and they have um um Siri Siri silk in them. And Siri silk is something like I just wanted to purchase, but I never really did. But that these carpets have some of the Siri silk within them. And so I went and I got a carpet. You guys, I did not, I tried to get one at five below last week when Elizabeth and I were there, but I could not get one at five below. So, um, I did go to Walmart. Here's what I got. I got the accent rug that was better homes and gardens. I did pay a little over $10 for it. Completely worth it. Um, I did, I made one mistake when you pull it apart, you got to wash it because you know, some of the pieces are, I don't know that I have any that are dirty. Cause I was been washing them like all day. When I pull some of these out, you'll see what I mean. Now, some people are saying, ew, they're disgusting. They're gross. They smell. We're finding bugs. It's a rag rug, y'all. They're made from cut off material in India. So chances are, um, you're going to find something in it. I found a moth, but I found a moth in a piece that helped me identify exactly what the Siri, uh, or sorry lace is and it's s-a-r-i i thought it was s-a-r-e-e -E, but there's apparently a difference so anyways basically what it means is strips of cloth it's indian for strips of cloth so here's what like the carpets look like you guys have seen them i know it okay my mom has had them in her house for years because they were cheap inexpensive carpets now listen <laughs> 
The crafting community is about to make them go up in value. So go grab yours. If you have Five Below, check it out. Apparently Five Below has them. Um, home Goods has been carrying them. Um, there was another home store. I want to check at Boss Cost because I think Boss Cost probably carries bigger ones. Um, I don't need another one. I bought two and I tore. This is the last of a second one. I have so much material. And I purposely bought it for the use of junk journaling. But then when I started thinking about my project for today, which I was just going to decoupage onto this piece. Oh, Western Grace. I want to give a shout out to Western Grace, to um, John and... Uh, Mandy Stafford, John and Mandy Stafford is who I bought my piece from that I'm going to be using today. And it's a woodcut angel. Now I spoke with her and I said, listen, I'm going to show this. Is there any way like John will cut some? And she said, not until like in November, he will start cutting more angel pieces. So if you're following Western Grace, um, Mandy and John Stafford, amazing. Those two, he is hysterical. He is my favorite crafter. I'm sorry. He's a hoot. <laughs> sorry, ladies. John Stafford, favorite crafter. But anyways, I wanted to give a shout out to them because that's who I was going to do this. So I was going to decoupage and paint on it, maybe do the chippy look. And I thought, I really want to do something different. So we are going to do something different. Now, I thought for sure that I'd be like the first crafter really to kind of start with these rugs, but... Barb at the shabby tree. She got me today. She made trees from these carpets. So be watching. Go grab yourself a carpet. Make sure you start tearing apart. It takes about 45 minutes to tear apart. I'm going to show you. So uh, the one I got is woven with these pieces that are yarn. Okay. So once you start to pull them, um, they do get, some of them get a little tangled up. But once you get them, like, I just keep trimming the yarn. Okay, I just keep trimming back the yarn, trimming back the yarn. Hang on, let me get the scissors. See, it started with a tangle right away, and it was not supposed to. Now, does it have a bad smell? No. Uh, is it dirty? At, in places, some of the pieces are dirty, okay? But honestly, when you pull it off, you're getting strips of fabric. Most of my strips have been big. I have found some smaller strips. This piece, this red piece that I'm pulling off right now, I found out because of the moth in my Siri silk on my first carpet that this is, in fact, what you want to be looking for. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, and while it may not be 100% authentic uh, always, it is, like, at times, 100% authentic. So, yours had fishing line it. See? I mean, it just is what it is. So it's kind of like sheen a little bit, more so like on the end. And these come off of the clothing in India or the leftover materials at the end. Um, listen, <laughs> do it outside. It's messy. Hey, Gretchen. Um, but like, so I said like some of it's dirty. So can you see there's like dirt, like, like I dropped it on the floor. So my wash water was not overly disgusting. This piece here, um, I love this piece. So we're going to use some of, I'm just going to pull off this piece yet, and then we're going to get moving on like the real project here. Um, but I just wanted to tell you, it takes about 45 minutes to break a rug down. So break the rug down, and then what I did was I took the pieces. I'm going to brain him. That is our garden hose going off and on. That's squeaking your hearing. But look at this beautiful piece of fabric. I got some really pretty pieces in my um material thing and then what i did was i took them and i put and i grabbed a handful and i put it in a old um pillowcase and i tied a knot in the top of the pillowcase i threw the pillowcase into the washing machine and i washed it here's where i made my critical error let me put this out of the way my critical error was this the beautiful i i took the pieces that i wanted to use for this project the red the green and the gold and I washed it together and look what happened so the dye from the green came off on to my yellow I'm gonna use it I think it's gonna make it look really cool 
So um, you can hand wash it. You can put it in the sink and hand wash it out if you want to. Um, and then I just threw it over clothesline to dry. Hey, Miss Janet. So we have our piece here and a glue gun you need. And then look at this beautiful green. Look at this. Is this not beautiful or what? This is definitely, yeah, it's a little tie dye now. Look at how beautiful this is. This is definitely, and it's wrinkled. I left it wrinkled. If you don't want it wrinkled, get your little craft iron out and start craft ironing it. And you can see like, so sorry silk, they take a lot of little threads and they thread it together, a lot of silk threads. So you tend to get like this webbing, see the webbing? So the only sure test is, is to set it on fire, which I'm not doing today. We're not burning anything today, y'all. Um, yes, just go get a rug, Lisa, absolutely. You can use it for so many things. I was thinking initially I'm going to use it for my junk journaling, but then when I thought about how I could do this, but anyways, um, so sorry silk, they take silk threads and they almost weave it to make the sorry. So, and then I have some red. So we got red, we got green, we got gold, and then this, okay, so everybody, they tell you every carpet has one jackpot, that one piece that you're just like, I love that piece. And this is what set it off. I was initially just going to use this piece right here for my halo and then make the rest all decoupage. Welcome, Brenda. So glad it's your first time here. I have ladies in the comments who I'm sure is welcoming all of you. The material, Sandra, came from a Better Homes and Garden accent rug. A, um, I was calling it a Cindy rug, C-H-I-N-D-I, but it's actually Chindy. A Chindy rug is how you say it. And if you look up on YouTube, there's a really cool video. I don't know if Shauna from Fraps and Scraps is here or not. If you're here, will you post that video? Because the video tells you all how they make it and stuff, and it was really, really cool. So I have my hot glue gun all set up here. And I found my finger protectors when I was cleaning today, so... I think we're in pretty good shape of Jimmy Lou not getting a burn, but you never can tell what's inside of this. Hang, hang on, I got, there's something inside of this one. Oh, it's glue. I thought there was a bug in it. <laughs> so if you're new, hit that follow button. Be sure and be following. I consider myself to be an eclectic crafter. So I do a lot of things. I do a lot of junk journaling. I do a lot of books. I do Bible journaling, although I don't do that on my page. I do home decor. We do we do all kinds of stuff. There we go. Shauna just posted the link. So if you're interested in how sorry silk is made, there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a layer of red. And then we're going to do green, red, green, red. And we're going to make her dress is what we're going to do from this really cool fabric. So I'm folding it in half to make it kind of like a U shape. Now, some of the pieces are off cuts, so they're not straight. So if you're expecting straight, sorry for you, you're not gonna get straight, but that's okay. And I'm going just um, about this far up from the bottom of my little angel lady. And let's just run some glue. And I'm gonna just create like, um, a pleat with my hot glue. So I'm putting my glue down and I'm putting a little bit in and then I'm just scrunching it together to make like a little pleat. Okay. So if I was doing this on my sewing machine, I would have used my little pleating tool and I would have, it would have just been great, but I'm not doing it on there. So I'm just being sure that I'm keeping my two ends lined up together. Okay. And I'm just scrunching it together. And it's just making little pleats all the way across, okay? Hang on it. When I get when I get this row done, I'll hold it up and show you what it's looking like. So just some hot glue. And um, this is actually Gorilla Glue and it's it's meant for wood projects. Because you don't want to put all this work into a project and then have it fall all apart on you. That would be like terrible. Hey, Denise, welcome. So many of you, yes, Fly Below, Walmart, um, they said uh, Home Goods. I don't know. The, I don't have a Home Goods anymore. Our Home Goods closed down. TJ Maxx, they said, has some. 
Although I, I cannot confirm that. I don't have a TJ Maxx either. So I'm just hot gluing and scrunching. Hot glue, there's hot glue on there. I'm just scrunching it over and just making this little pleat. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be, if this comes out half as good as it looks in my brain, I'm gonna be like doing like happy dances over here. We're gonna be like whoop whoop. I'm gonna end up on like TikTok doing some goofball dance because my, my project got cool. <laughs> So just scooting that last bit together, okay, just like so, and then right at the end, I'm just going to trim it off, and if my fabric frays, it frays, part of the beauty of it, I think, in my opinion, so let me turn it this way so you can kind of see, I'm just trimming this off, John and Mandy, I hope I'm doing your wood project justice, I bought this back like in December, she had a sale and um, I was like, oh, I really want one of those angels. And she messaged me and she said, I don't think we're going to get it to you by, you know, that you'll have it in time to do for Christmas. I was like, eh, that's all right. I'll use it somewhere along the lines. Well, guess what? <laughs> we're using it today. So here we go. Now she has like a little skirt. Now we're going to do the same thing. It is pieces of fabric that I pulled from, um, the, the chindi, chindi rug, I think is how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. So from these carpets, I pulled out reds and greens that I liked and golds. Reds, greens, and golds. And I just got that in my hair. <laughs> okay, so now the green, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just folding it in half. And I'm gonna go up about, I don't know, an inch from where I just was working. And we're gonna do the same thing so that it's gonna make a layer, okay? And I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. So I'm gonna keep moving quick because I don't wanna run out of time. I also don't wanna go too quick that I burn my hand, but I'm just, I'm using this one to hold it down. I'm using this one to squish it over. I don't know, <laughs> we got some real technical terms here, you guys. So. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Okay, so who? What is your favorite Christmas movie? Christmas movies are on. They're not on really, but suppose we're in December and the favorite Christmas movie. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. Nosy person right here wants to know. No, 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 nosy. I'm nosy. Okay, let me trim this off. And then we're just gonna hit that end piece right there with a little glue. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. Now, I'm basically using the, the wooden cutout part from the bottom as, as a um, template, as a base, okay? No, wait, I missed something. What did I miss? That's not a painting. The wedding couple behind me. Oh, you guys are talking about this, right? Okay, so if I have time at the end, at the end, if I have time, I'll show it. It is a junk journal. If you go back, there are several photos of where we made this junk journal woo, using um, paper dolls. So it's not a painting. I wish. I wish I could paint that good. I can't paint that good, I'm just saying. Okay, so back on to, to red. We're gonna do red again. And I wonder if I'm gonna have enough. I wanna make sure I have enough um, on the strip rather than piecing it together. So be careful. I'm being careful. <laughs> oh, I'm being careful. Somebody's in a tornado warning. Ooh, dear Lord, please help them. Watch over them. Help them to stay safe. So I'm just making layers. Now listen, if your Christmas colors are not red and green and they're something else, then pull those colors from the rug. There's like tons of colors on the rug. So I'm just saying, there really are. Like, it doesn't have to be exact um, as Mayan. I just picked red and green because it's Christmas, you guys. Guys, like my Christmas sweatshirt, I'm dying over here. It's like 90 degrees in Pennsylvania, and I got a sweatshirt on. Larry said to me, are you insane? I said, slightly. So, 
he set up the air conditioner for me and put um put a fan going so that it blows my direction so that I don't have a heat stroke in here. <laughs> Can you just imagine having to go to the hospital and saying, My wife had a heat stroke. Yeah, it's so hot out. Yeah, but she was wearing a Christmas sweater at the time. Oh, well, this one isn't so much a sweater as it is like a t-shirt material. Oh, wait, I'm getting blue on the on the fabric part. Um, it's not as much a uh, a sweat uh, a sweater or a sweatshirt as it is. It's like t-shirt material, so it's lighter. Thanks, Shauna. Okay, so we're just gonna trim this off right here. And then we're going to tuck this up under here like that. I'm going to hold it up here in a second for you to see. Ouch, that was hot. That one was hot. Just saying. Hey, Marie Snyder, welcome. If I'm missing you and you're new, I just want to say welcome. My sister and brother-in-law live in Pennsylvania. Awesome. You're in western Pennsylvania. I'm in eastern Pennsylvania. I am about an hour north of Harrisburg. So... Yep, you're not on replay, girlfriend. If you see the red live up here, we are live, live, live. Okay, so now we're back on to the green shimmery, which I really love the green. You guys, I really love the green. So, and this was a pass or fail video, okay? I'm just going to tell you what a pass or fail is. I did not have the materials... I did not have the base to do a practice run, so it was hit or miss. It was fight, fight or flight, something like that. Uh, either it was going to work out or it wasn't going to work out. <laughs> I took my chances today, you guys. I took my chances. I was hopeful. Hopeful or confident? Take your pick. I don't know. Well, <laughs> crazy, maybe. She's crazy, y'all. She's crazy. They live in... I didn't burrow. Hmm. Hi, Vicky. It is coming out really cute. I'm like really, I'm very, very quite impressed with it. So considering that, like, I actually changed it the last night when I was thinking about it. I thought, hmm. So it actually did get changed last night. Because I was going to, like I said, I was just going to decoupage. I had scrapbook paper already. I was going to do buffalo plaid. And then, yeah. Any more crazy camping adventures? Yes. Yes. You have more live on locations coming. They're asking about live on locations. That is something that I like to do. I like to do lives on location. And um, we like to go camping. And I know the one place we're going camping, there's no cell signal. So you'll get all recorded videos from that trip. So there we go. I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going up. We're doing red next. Not redneck, red next. Yes, you really definitely got to try and take it apart. So I'm thinking if I could do this to an angel and Barb can do it to a tree form, you guys can do it to any form. So any, um, any type thing that you want to do. How about a wreath, a wreath form, like get a circle wreath form and oh my gosh, just think of the things you could make using a circle wreath form. Just think of the possibilities, you guys, from that one rag wreath or one rag rug. My mom used to call them clown carpets. My mom is back here in Annie Yetter, and um, she was my biggest fan. She passed away on Easter Sunday, and um, I miss her terribly, but yet I can always still feel her. You know, if I would have told her <laughs> I wanted to rip apart a carpet, she would have picked hers off the floor washed it and helped me tear it apart i'm just saying you can ask chrissy coleman if she's on here chrissy and i are friends from high school and um she'll tell you that that's my mom was like that she would have totally done that so again i'm just pinching i'm just using i'm putting down some glue and i'm just pinching the fabric into the glue Yes, I do craft for my picnic table in the backyard. Yes, I do, ma'am. You may have seen me already then. 
The only thing is, this is when the glue starts to build up on these finger protectors. And I got my glue off the floor. They are not scarves. That's okay, Suzanne. It is from a shindy, a shindy, a shindy rug. Um, it came from Better Homes and Gardens. So uh, you can get them at, uh, I almost started saying Home Depot. That's not right. Well, I don't know. Maybe they do have them at Home Depot. They got an awful lot of stuff at Home Depot. I'm just saying. Yeah, she would have. She had took the dang carpet off the floor and said, let's see what's inside of mine. <laughs> yes. Uh, Barb made, she made tall trees. She used like a cone form and she wrapped, she used all different colors and she just wrapped the, the pieces around the form. Okay. So that's what she did with hers. Uh, the junk journaling community is using them for like tie closures and things like that. That's really why I bought mine. I bought mine for that. But, um, listen, I'm using scissors that I use on everything on this fabric. Use your fabric scissors. Use your fabric scissors. Okay, so one more row. We're going to do a row of green yet. And you can see I still have lots of the red and the green left. Um, for this but she is so stinking cute I do have a little glue right there that is showing so I just glue that down a little there we go it's very forgiving and then we're gonna use some of my coffee dyed lace because you know what lady wouldn't want to have a beautiful lace collar am I right am I right oh I better get my butt moving so just like so and then I'm going to do the same technique of like folding it and scrunching it up uh, on her wings. Okay. But instead of red and green, I have, um, I have gold and it's like I said, I washed it, the red, the green and the gold together. And, um, I made it, uh oh, boo boo. So this looks so cute. You guys, it looks like scrunchies. You know, you remember scrunchies like from the 80s? We used to wear our hair up in them. I sometimes still do. <laughs> okay. So now I have some of this coffee dyed lace. I'm not doing anything to the face. I'm leaving the face blank. But I coffee dyed some of this lace. So we're going to... Let's see. I want to fold it under so it has like a clean kind of look to it. And I'm starting in the front. I'm starting in the front. And I'm going to come back around to the front. So I'm going to go around the back side of it so that it splits in the front. Okay. <laughs> so just press this down. Bringing this around. It's almost like a little shawl. Maybe it is her shawl. Who knows? Woo, that's hot. Hot fingers. Hot fingers, hot fingers, hot fingers. And then right around here to the front. Let me cut this straight. You know what? I'm going to cut it way up here because I'd rather have more than not enough. And it definitely... It is a little tricky to get the right, the right angle when you come back around, but that's okay. It'll work out. So just some glue. And then right here in the front where it meets, I have this really, ooh, this really pretty button. Oh Lord from my flea market finds. Um, there were some vintage buttons that um, I pulled out. I don't, this one side is not wanting to stick. Hang on. Let me grab my tool. Oh, now go away. And right here in the front, I'm gonna put this button. This is really pretty decorative button. Just like so. Now look how pretty that looks. Does that look pretty or what? Okay, 
So I'm going to sit this over to the side. We get moving. And I'm going to do the same technique with the gold. Now, like I said, it's not dirty. I did wash it. What happened is, um, and I'm going to do just two rows. I think two rows will be enough. So let's do this. Fold it in half. Mm -hmm. Wrong direction. Wrong direction, Jimmy Lou. And we're just going to scrunch it together, scrunch it together, scrunch it together. And we can fix any imperfections later on. Now, once I get about halfway over, I'm just going to glue it straight. I'm not going to scrunch it. And here's why. It's going to be behind the angel anyways. It's going to be behind her back. So once I get so far, I'm not going to scrunch it anymore. And then I'll start scrunching it again on the other end. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Are you with me? So, oh, and you know what? I really did a, I did a doozy, you guys. Look what I did. I started it at the top instead of the bottom. That smarted. Y'all could see that one smarted, right? <laughs> Ow. No blister. We're good. I'm a big baby. As soon as I feel that heat, I jerk back. Seriously, as soon as I feel the heat, I'm like, Phew. no, thank you. No, thank you. We have this we're going to use. And... Nope. this piece here and we're going to do the same thing except for my problem is and instead of starting at the bottom and working towards the top I started at the top but that's okay it'll work out it'll work out I promise it's gonna look really cool <laughs> Ooh, it's still stinging guys I am a big baby I am like I don't get blisters because I jerk my hand back fast um okay and I think I can tell you probably why I do that I don't know why for sure but um one time we were uh we had like this campfire ring and um we were sitting around it and what happened was we uh had this like netting stuff and larry tossed the netting in and it popped and when it did the plastic hit the back side of my leg and i instantly went ah like that and when i did the plastic like stuck to my hand so like i'm a big baby i don't like to get burnt i don't want to be burnt i'm just saying so i have a little bit of this left that's not really big enough for anything. So let's just kind of fill in our gaps here. Filling in the gaps. And you guys, um, like I said, I got the, the wooden cutout came from uh, Mandy and John Stafford at um, Western Grace. They're two amazing crafters. Um, you're the same way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue our angel right on to there. Whoops. More glue. Okay, you got 10 minutes, Jimmy Lou, to do the rest of this little project. Okay, so I just put a whole darn doll of a glues on there, you guys. And then we're just going to blop our angel wings right on there now. I should have had a clamp to clamp it together. Okay, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick something underneath there to kind of hold that up. Set this on here and hold that up and on each side. And then I'm gonna show you, I have these really, whoo, these really cute uh, vintage spools. They're wooden spools. Now we are gonna move quick. and. On the vintage spools, I have 
again from the carpet some of these pieces now this is not the same as what we used on her dress I don't want to pull away from her dress but if you just take it and tear a strip that makes it kind of cool and then I just leave like a long tail and I'm gonna kind of did somebody just compare me to Mr. Bean oh Ben sick <laughs> I'm like okay I might be <laughs> so I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna tie it into a knot right here in the front okay just like so and then you can cut them as long or as short as you want yeah the Ryobi does get very hot it does so I have two that are cut longer and then I have one that's a little shorter and um, I'm gonna do another one that's a little shorter just to make it slightly different but I'm just wrapping material around these now you can still buy these like on Amazon but um, these ones are actually vintage ones these were like I don't know someone gave me a bag full of them and I pulled the thread off because the thread was dry rotted anyways so once I get this one knotted I'm just gonna trim it shorter so just a little shorter here and a little shorter there now you could glue buttons um, or little like decals on it and stuff I'm not doing that and I'll show you why look at how pretty she's looking you guys how cool how cool okay oh come on you can do it all right so grab a piece of twine and we are gonna put a yarn needle on the end of the twine okay you love the tear the tear oh yeah the tear it's very satisfying to tear it um so okay so just putting a piece of twine on there and i'm starting with a bell no i'm starting with a spool so let's do a long spool a wooden bead that i'm not painting i'm not dying i'm not doing anything and then okay guys I had, oh, here we are. Okay, so, and then I'm doing a short one. So one where I cut short. And then I'm doing another wood bead. These are just the wood beads from um, Amazon. And then I'm doing a jingle bell because, you know, let's have a jingle bell. Why not? I love jingle bells. They're my favorite. And then another um, wood bead. And the other short spool. Another wood bead. And then the long spool just like so okay so just like so and I think it's not gonna be too long no it's not and we're just gonna do just like this and these are gonna be her arms so let me flip her over and I'm just gonna do a tie in the back a little knot Okay, trim this stuff off. Get, we gotta get moving. Look at how cute they became her arms, you guys. How cool is that? Okay, so next what we have to do is we gotta give her a halo. We gotta have a halo. And this is what sparked this whole like transition over into this project. I do believe I am gonna get a blister on that finger. <laughs> Just saying. Larry's gonna call me a baby. He's gonna say, now I gotta hear about this all night long. Okay. So I'm just gathering it and I'm doing a little twist as I go. So um, I'm gonna probably glue it in the back, but as I'm going around, I'm twisting it. Okay, this is gonna be her little halo. And then we can sort of like arrange it however we want it to be. Thanks, Brenda. I don't know about if I always have fun projects, but I do have, I do put a lot into my projects. <laughs> I do put a lot into them. Blood, sweat, and skin. <laughs> I don't typically cry over a project. If I cry over a project... You know then we have a real issue but um so i'm just gonna fiddle with this some and look how cute that got 
Look at how cute, you guys. So it does need, it needs to be like pulled up and kind of fiddled with. I might have to just, instead of making two twists around, make one. I don't want to go over my time. Yes, isn't she so pretty? Um, let me just, let me twist it a little more. Maybe I just didn't twist it enough. Twist and shout. Do the twist. Yeah, I think that, ah! I think that's what it is, is I just maybe didn't give it enough of a twist the first time to kind of hold it in place for the second wrap. Okay. Let me see here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Don't slip, don't slip. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so sometimes it's, you just got to give it a tighter twist. Thank you, Gretchen, for telling me I have five minutes left. I appreciate that. So, so look at, I don't know, maybe I should just even leave her little thing hanging down. What do you think? Should I leave that hanging? <laughs> she looked like a hippie angel. We got us a hippie angel happening. Oh my gosh, I really love it. Okay, so I do have like a little bit of glue on the wood, but honestly, I didn't even have to sand these pieces. When John um, sent these to me from Western Grace, um, I honestly, I didn't have to do anything to them. They were ready to go for a project. So, um, I just need to, I'll use my heat tool. I'll heat it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll add a hanging. I'll add, um, I'll add a little twine hanger on the back or sometimes Larry adds picture hangers for me. So they hang a little tighter, but didn't it get cute? You guys, I'm loving it. So let me take a minute. I want to say a couple things. Next up in the lineup is, uh, Sheila from Desert Divas. Sheila from Desert Divas. You guys make sure they head over to her page. Pinned in the, the comments and also in the description of this video is the group that you can join for free. Over 2,000 members, you guys. There's lots happening in there. So go on over there. If you get lost, that's where you can find everybody's lives. You can catch the replays and, um, uh, and all the videos the rest of today and tomorrow. Um, I want to say, say thank you to Lisa and Char both for hosting this event. Um, I really appreciate you including me in on it. I loved it. I love watching all of the ladies and I just had so much fun and I had so much fun making this. I love it. Can you put in? Yeah, I can put it in. Um, yeah. So, and then I also want to say again to John and Mandy Stafford from Western Grace, thank you for the cutout. I really appreciate it. So come November, start harassing Mandy over there for your angel cutout and go get your rugs guys go and get your rugs now I did say that I would show this book if I had enough time so I have about I have about two minutes for you to see um this is a junk journal sort of that um I lost one of my pieces too um that we made the past couple of uh lives and um, it turned out super cute. This was a paper doll set and um, I took it and created it into a book. Um, there's plenty of places for photos. This will be available in my auction on Saturday. Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be having a mainly book auction. And then this opens all up. There's a pocket behind there. These became little clips. You can add photos to it. Um, it can be a wedding album. But as I was told, it could also be like, you could put pictures of you and your grandma, if you and your grandma played. Oh, who's giving me angry faces? Don't be angry. Be happy. Paper dolls are happy. And then in the back back here, this opens up and this is a nice long place for photos. Or as one of my friends pointed out to me, how about if you did um, like a planning, like you're planning your wedding. So these is a place you can add your ideas. There's the paper dolls are intact in the back back here. Here's the little flower girl. She's super cute. And then this opens up like this and this. So there's places for writing throughout the book. So this is going to be up for auction next Saturday. Next up is uh, Sheila from Desert Divas. So you guys, I think, oh, I still have like two minutes. I'm telling you, the clocks are throwing me off around here. They really are. But I did show my Christmas journal, which I did actually sell in um, the group. So you can head over there and you can see pictures of this book. So yeah, I love the books too. The books are my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. 
Yes, a long life. Yeah, a long life for those. So here's what we did today on the Messy Craft Corner. Don't forget to give the page a like and a follow and um, come and join us anytime. And I'm still undecided whether I want to leave this hanging down or if I want to cut it off in the back. I don't know. I might have to do like a vote on the page and see. Okay, guys, so have a super great rest of your day, whatever it is that you choose to do. Go create something absolutely amazing. You got 33 new ideas and five months in which to make them all. So absolutely head on over to um, the group that's pinned in the comment. How much for the angel? Send me a message. I don't want to do any selling right now, but send me a message. Um, the page for the cutout. Um, the cutout for the angel, there wasn't one. It's Western Grace. Western Grace. Oh, yeah, for the, duh, the page. I'm thinking paper. But anyways, have a super great rest of your day. Create something amazing. And remember to always, always be kind because you never know what someone else might be going through. Krista, send me a message. I see your comment right there at the end on a binding for a journal. Send me a message. Okay, have a good day, guys. Bye.